as steam flows from newly tuned sugar mills around the state as grinding season is underway. What kind of crop will Louisiana sugar farmers haul in this year? Twilight's A.J. Sabine has a preview. Iberville Parish sugar farmers Patrick Frischertz and John Gay unbolt this bush hog at the St. Louis Planting Company just south of Plaquemine. After more than seven months of work, this sugar cane is ready to be harvested. Frischertz says he's excited about the prospects of this crop, even as dry weather in June and July has created anticipation for high sucrose early in the season. The hay is in the barn essentially. You want to see what the yields are going to look like. It's an exciting time for us because we don't know. We've watched this crop grow from maybe two feet tall to even a foot tall all the way up to 10 to 15 feet. You want to know what it's going to yield and this is this is your livelihood. You're excited about the potential. Predicting yield is part of the challenge for LSU Ag Center sugarcane specialist Dr. Kenneth Gravois. Gravois says an inverted weather pattern created challenges in the Louisiana sugar belt early in the growing season. We're upside down. We had a cold, we had a wet spring and a dry summer. So we're, when we're hoping for the opposite, when we're hoping for the dry spring, wet summer, we get just the opposite. With that in mind, Gravois opines that it's been a tough year for sugarcane with one caveat. Sugarcane is a resilient crop. Maturity data out of the USDA's Homa Sugar Research Lab indicate that sugar content is favorable. So those numbers are high. Uh, one of the mills up north, the Alma Mill, they keep track of uh, bricks and they have very high levels of, as well. So we're encouraged that uh, the sugar level, the sugar content in the crop should be high and hopefully that offsets some of the lower tonnage that we expect. Wet weather in May and high temperatures in June here in Iberville Parish did create some difficulties with the sugarcane borer. Despite the insect pressure, Frisch Hertz remains optimistic, even on price. We have the potential for an above average crop. It is, it is exciting because, a little disappointing and exciting, because at the beginning of the year, I thought we had the potential for a fantastic crop. But because of all that rain, it did stunt the root development just a little bit. So it brought what I thought could have been a great crop to what probably will be a slightly above average crop for our area. And again, what we see here might not apply to other places. We did receive some very timely rainfall at the beginning of our cultivation process, which helped activate the fertilizer. Now, again, other places didn't see that, but we should see in a slightly above average crop, and I'm excited about that. Sugarcane farmers planted about 408,000 acres of sugarcane across Louisiana this year. Iberia Parish leads the state in terms of acreage planted with a whopping 55,000 acres of sugarcane.